Supreme 4 2024 collection. And Supreme finally dropped the archive. They finally dropped the preview. They finally gave us a sneak peek as to what we can expect from the soon to release Supreme 4 2024 collection. And the thing I love about this is a reminder to people, because I think I've been arguing with some folk, especially some Supreme people on some pages and stuff on social about which season was the best. But hope this is a reminder to all the naysayers out there that there's no doubting that the best Supreme collections in every year or in every year, in every year are always full. It's always fall. Fall in general across the board is the strongest month for men in general. Like, you know, fall clothing suits most of us best. I don't think a lot of us kind of dress that well in summer. So with that being said, um, let's check out some of the previews on this particular Supreme preview. There's so much stuff on here that I want. So much stuff on here that I'd love to have. But the stuff on here is just, just, yeah, it's just something incredible. It's a good reminder of just the power of what they do and how they do it well. Um, they've got this leather jacket here in collaboration, I think, with Mr. Cartoon that people are going crazy over. There's this Scott jacket that reminds you of something, um, some guy that I know called Kish will probably end up wearing and be a big fan of. There's a jacket, I think somewhere around here that I was a big fan of too. Let me just go, actually go through the squares and we'll see everything that's on here. There's a Scott jacket, a Chevron leather down puffer that's fucking gorgeous. Uh, what's that What's that on that collar? Is that faux fur? What is that? Is that pile? What is that on the collar there? You got quilted lambskin, metal studs, zip closure, removable fur. Oh, okay, Sherling. That Sherling collar there as well it looks absolutely fantastic. The purple looks fucking great. Actually, without the fur, it might actually look better without the fur. I'm not gonna lie, it might actually look better without the fur. Um, the, sh the what you got it, the Sherling collar. I'm not gonna lie, that Scotch jacket might look better like that. Um, continuing on. What's that you got? Nope. You go back. So the black and the purple. Obviously, the purple is the best color out of those two there. Then you've got an S logo track jacket, which I love the look of. I love the look of this because the S almost looks like a thumbprint, how it's kind of swelled that way. It looks pretty cool. And they've got their kind of, you know, made up um, Supreme Football Team badge here as well that says World Famous Team. That's fucking cool. I'm not going to lie. WFT. So big up there. And you've got Big Supreme here on the back. But that's a really nice tracksuit. That's a fucking really nice tracksuit. I'm sure that's inspired by some like old school soccer thing as well. And there's also matching pants to it as well, or matching track pants. So yeah, you can't hate on that. It's impossible to hate on this. That stuff is fucking fantastic. Let's go to another square. Let's go to this one. One of my favorite jackets is the entire collection. This might be one of my favorite pieces in the entire collection. It's a collaboration with BB Simon, which who usually do belts, but they've collaborated with Supreme on this jacket here, which is a BB Simon work jacket. Um, in my opinion, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I much prefer in the black colorway though. There's a studded version of this particular jacket in a black colorway. Also comes to this um, tree camo as well, which people would like. But this black colorway is so good, so good. But you know, me in a black jacket with some silver studs, I'm always for it. Is there a silver hit there at the back as well? Yeah, look at that. There's studs here towards the back too. And rivets and diamonds and shit. Nice fucking shit. I'm not mad at that in the slightest. It's got a finch in the inside as well. It says here, courtesy of the blurb. The blessed is all cotton with a 3M finch insulation and a quilted cotton popping. Like, oh, yo, 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 yo. The double knee pants, I'm also a big fan of as well. They're baggy and a good fit. I'm not mad at them in the slightest. Um, this jacket here, this fireman's jacket is absolutely sick as well. It kind of reminds me of something that Balenciaga would do. Loads of really cool distressing marks all over it. And it comes in, I think, black as well, if I'm not mistaken. If I was being nitpicky, the only thing I'd do if I did purchase this was maybe take off this badge or this this placard on the back and just leave it plain. I'm fed up. I think they do it purposely, obviously, to appeal to a younger audience. But for some of myself that still buy Supreme, I hate the fucking big and you know emblazoned Supreme on the back. They do everything on their pants, on their you know shorts, on their tackers and shit. So if I was to purchase this, the first thing I'd do is like pick this apart this big rectangle supreme sound at the back i pick it apart a little bit and just wear it by itself and i think it looked pretty sick i'm not gonna lie um obviously you got the fireman's jacket here you got this jacket which is absolutely incredible it reminds of something that zegna would make or something it's so fucking cute it's a suede work jacket that's been made to look like it's got croc you know it's been a crocodile got killed to make it but it's actually just a print but the shape of it is fucking beautiful you have to be honest like Supreme are definitely snapping when it comes to the, 
you know designers of this what you call it of the jackets and whatever it may be they're absolutely killing it but this is one of the best ones there um let's continue you got it featured what's that other colorway you got the other color features in a blue that blue color is really nice to be fair that navy blue color is nice so is the brown and the black but that navy blue color is not really mad at that in the slightest i'm not gonna lie you've got matching suede leather pants also or suede you know pants in general to match the, to match the jacket um and then you kind of close that you go back again what else we got here i want to see oh yeah we got this as well that i'm a big fan of um this supreme and scott leather jacket there's quite a few scott items on here in it but there's this nice leather red jacket which i'm sh i hope this is like a collaboration with tyler because it feels that like, it feels like it's his favorite color as well but this looks so fucking hard and it all just features the cheetah pattern lining on the inside so maybe it was a nod to him maybe 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 either way it's absolutely buff and i'd love a you know love to fucking rock the shit out of that of course we continue on we've also got a couple of great down jackets here that i like the look of this particular um gore-tex 900 field down parker i'm a big fan of um there's also this particular parker that i fucking love 700 field down lightweight puffer parker which is fucking banging i think this is one that comes in like a really bright color what color is it it's that's like a, reminds me a little bit of that stussy jacket that came out last year but there's another colorway there we go it's this one i think that might have reminded me of actually i think there's a I think there was an old Supreme TNF that was this particular camo or something. I forgot what it was or something. I remember seeing this camo somewhere. This almost like iridescent camo. I'm sure there was someone who had it. Maybe it was something else. I don't know who actually had it. But regardless, that jacket shape is absolutely fantastic. That hood design is just something to be marbled over. I think that would even fit my big, you know, big fucking cranium. And you just got the eyes in the back. They're just darting off and trying to you know not lose fucking focus <laughs> but without the hood it looks pretty cool too also in black it also looks not too shabby obviously the strongest colorways are that you know this icy blue colorway and that fucking um what you call it and that camera colorway but unfortunately we have to keep continue going let's see a couple more here and then we're obviously going to bounce and reconvene for another time but the other things i also loved in this particular collection might be might be the photo tee the Tyler Crate photo tee has finally been confirmed. I actually prefer this pose. I'm not going to lie. As good as the other poses were that we saw on the posters, I was actually surprised. I think maybe this might be the first time it's happened where the pose that we showed you in the poster isn't the pose that's going to be used in the actual tee. But I actually like this, especially in that purple or in that pink. That pink color is amazing. It pops so well. But yeah, that must be such a great full circle moment from going from, you know, queuing outside of the store befriending people that work there suddenly becoming an artist in your own like and then having supreme say yeah we got you in authority that is such a great fucking validation or acknowledgement from brands that you look up to so big up james shabby big up supreme for hanging and doing what needs to be done and then we continue on that i think that's just a t-shirt that one um actually this is some a couple of t-shirt designs are pretty cool i'm not really mad at that fuck money love supreme i'm not really mad at that drugs with the american flag and blades in it i'm not mad at that, that in the slightest there's so much good oh look at that satan t oh that satan t that font is gorgeous bro i don't know what that font is but i might have to i might have to see if i can try and stab that typeface that is so cool i'm not mad at that in the slightest uh we continue on we got a couple more t's here maybe this is a what's his name and eric what's his name eric dunk or whatever that's oh no widow oh it's widow dave okay cool it's widow dave i thought it was some i thought it was the other dude who had that kind of shoot got that artwork in one of the supreme stores that looks like gunshots uh, i think it's nate lauman but this is not late Lauman. this is a uh, what's his face um widow dave so big up widow dave you got a couple of shirts there you've got supreme classic t-shirt with tara patrick on the inside superimposed you've got this really great t-shirt which is amazing i think this is very politically fraught it says supreme cries for hell because of your aggressions and killing civilians innocent kids and mothers and olds and it's got the empire state building they're judging people who for what they've done so maybe this is their political t-shirt for what's happening around the world right now who knows maybe we're projecting a little bit there and then some other bits and pieces here which i really fucking liked was some of the bags and some of the accessories that the bags are brilliant this particular bag is so nice and it's like 24 liters so this can fit a lot of shit in there this will be perfect for the berlin trips and shit um i don't know what version of camo that is but i actually don't mind that brown one my favorite colorways might be the red and the blue there's a there's a blue colorway coming up that's fucking gorgeous that's kind of like navy ultramarine blue type of thing is fucking gorgeous but obviously you know getting a big red supreme bag might be a lick as well especially if you're going abroad maybe there's an option for it 
to buy it in purple or buy it in a bright color so you could use it as a carry-on and it's also easy to kind of keep an eye on it as well when you're away and shit so that might be quite hard so big up them and then obviously some of the pouches that's also cool um i'm a st i'm kind of looking out all the time for like the perfect dj bag there's not a lot of them out there duffel bag is pretty nice as well but i'm always keeping an eye on. and i think supreme always do a great quote-unquote dj bag because a dj bag needs to be big enough to fit like you know a chunky pair of headphones another bag that's got usbs and you know headphone jacks inside them and shit maybe your lip balm whatever little crude month but you don't need a messenger bag so you don't need a messenger bag and you don't need a duffel bag you need something in between and i think supreme has a couple of options here via their bag options that i probably would like to look at so this messenger bag is probably a little bit too big for my needs as you can see from the size and it's a uh, seven liter actually seven liter isn't even that big you know i'm not gonna lie that's not even that big so maybe that messenger bag might be the lick there's a messenger bag there and there's also a waste bag which might be the best option if you're gonna need a dj bag because it's actually quite you know it's got some depth in it as brendan would say there so i'm not mad at that in the slightest and then there's another bag here that i thought i saw that i really liked um cam there's a waste bag maybe it's a camera bag maybe it's a camera bag that i thought that'd be pretty cool especially if you've got headphones that kind of fold in themselves that might actually work and um, i don't think sennheisers would work and there's also another mini side bag also that i'm sure all the kids are going to be fucking ecstatic over but yeah and there's a leather backpack as well it looks fucking phenomenal i'm not mad at that in the slightest i think that does that come in red too or is that just coming black and green oh yeah black green and brown but still good nonetheless Oh, that leather, that brown one like that, that's a very nice bag. That might actually work well as a handbag. I'm sure there's some girls out there that probably might have actually check and see if they can cuff, carry, sorry, one of these duffel bags as a handbag because it actually might work. I'm not even going to lie. So a duffel bag is there. There's also a waist bag that they feature also that I'm not mad at. And obviously a shoulder bag as well that people would like to go festivals with. And you've also got a Polar Tech sling as well. Um, there's a couple more here in orange and red. And then going back to some of the accessories that everyone's creaming their pants over. The first one being the squat rack. The squat rack is fucking incredible. I'm not going to lie. Or this was actually called the power rack. This is so fucking good. Imagine having this in your local gym or in your mostly in your home gym. I'd love to have something like this in my home gym. I would love to have something like this in my home gym. So it says true grip power rack weight set includes power rack, adjustable bench, 45, um, 45 pound plates, no 45 pound barbell, also include plates 10s 25s 35s 45s and one pound so pretty fucking sick bumper plate sold as a set but these are so good man this is i don't know how much it's going to be i'm assuming it's going to be probably thousands but this is an amazing squat rack it's all painted red it's got big massive supreme logo here on the bench and supreme logo actually machined into it as well supreme logo all over the plates like you look like um elelco alico fucking plates and shit nice clips as well they're in black but the main barbell is red here but then the ends of it are black as well so it's fucking cool i'm not gonna lie i would actually like to see how it kind of wears down after use i'm sure all the paint comes off on the actual barbell that actually look pretty cool i'm curious to see what that looks like after i think a few maybe a couple of days of working and shit you know how it is when you're one of these crafted people um they're also selling a saxophone can you believe that supreme are just selling a saxophone here you got supreme selma alto saxophone um, for supreme with a custom etched graphics keys as well as you can see here there's a, a custom etched graphic here god almighty god almighty that's fucking gorgeous that is fucking gorgeous that's actually something that you might actually put on display you're not gonna actually play it the saxophone that is so fucking beautiful look at the engraving here you've got supreme written down here you've got this amazing kind of rose etching there you've got the supreme label right there as well it's absolutely fucking beautiful um you've also got a bike by brooklyn machine works i'm a big fan of i remember i'm not just sure if pharrell still invested in them but i remember back in the day pharrell was invested in this um company brooklyn machine works that make you know great fucking um cruisers and bikes and bmx's in general and this is one of theirs oh it's a 24 i actually prefer 26s or 29s i'm not gonna lie 24 is a bit small but still especially if someone my size or my height but it's still pretty nice Body machines work 24 steel handrail or hand tool sorry park ride v4 with custom supreme components shimano brakes shimano sink cranks and just the other bits and pieces here it comes in all black which is probably my favorite color i'm not gonna lie you got these really big fat tires here that remind me of my um 
of my uh, charged stove bike that I'm still have. I'm still angry I don't have. I might, actually, I might actually check eBay and see someone selling a second hand one, but I'm still pissed I don't have my charged stove anymore. But this is a really fucking nice bike. Um, and then on the next one, I think it also comes in red, which I'm disappointed in. It's not completely red. It looks like the sh um, what you call it, the suspension in the front or the forks on the front of the suspension are black, and the rest of it's red, but. I wish it would all come in red too. I'm assuming to you know to get red tires might be pretty pretty hard, or might in, you know increase the cost and shit. But that's that. You've also got a Supreme Jacob and Co. 14 karat gold Zodiac pendant with all the different Zodiac signs. That's going to be really fucking popular. I I actually only noticed this now, but these are all the different Zodiac signs, right? And you know people are fucking super hard into that gobbledy goop, so everyone's going to be trying to buy one of these Aries, Gemini. Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces, Capricorn, Scorpion, or Scorpio, Scorpion, this is like, <laughs> um, Virgo, Cancer, and Taurus, so people are going to be fucking crazy for these when they eventually drop, but yeah, I think all that astrology shit is fucking lame, it also comes in silver, which I'm a big fan of, you've also got this, which is absolutely insane, I've never seen something like this before in my life, it's a vinyl player, but instead of it being a turntable, it's essentially something that you plug, like, it's a weird gizmo to describe it. It kind of fits like a paper clip or something. And that's basically how you play. And then obviously the needle, a needle arm kind of retracts out from the side, which is pretty cool. I'm assuming you have to plug it into some sort of um, setup or some sort of uh, speakers in order to kind of hear it. I doubt there's an inbuilt speaker on there. And it's called a sound burger, actually, which is pretty cool. It's a Supreme Audio Technica Sound Burger, portable two-speed turntable with a printed logo, Bluetooth compatible for wireless play to speakers or headphones. Okay, cool. So you can play through headphones wirelessly. That's pretty sick. It's a good way to kind of be able to listen to vinyl because I've got so much vinyl at home, but I don't have turntables. So maybe this is quite a good way. You get to play it and you get to link it to your headphones and shit, which I'm not mad at. There's a Supreme Swarovski Crystal Box Cutter. That looks fucking gorgeous. This is not going to get sold in London. You know how it, well, you know how you know how it is, or what it is when it comes to fucking knife crime here in London. There's absolutely no way they're selling this in London. No fucking way. Um, but it's actually beautiful anyway. I'm not going to lie. There's a black crystal, red crystal, and obviously the ones in multicolor. That multicolor one might be mine. That means something that I'll be into. Um, there's a massive, massive, chunky, huge, impressive looking, supreme fucking um ashtray it's a it's a murano ashtray i'm sure murano is a probably popular brand that makes ashtrays but if you look at it a bit if you zoom into it why does it kind of look like there's pictures included in it? maybe it's maybe it's a reflection of the studio they're, they're taking the pictures off of but i feel like the inside has like pictures that are like etched inside it or something i don't know it looks fucking cool though um in this red sort of colorway as well increase certificate from the glass master alessandro Maserati, so I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be really expensive and it's going to sell out too. It's made in handmade in Italy, fucking beautiful. There's also a Supreme, um, what you call it, uh, blanket that's also fucking impressive with Kate Moss printed on there as well from her photo teeth back in the day. That looks absolutely incredible. I don't like that in the slightest. That actually might look good on that, might actually look good on the wall as well. You can put it on the floor, but this one might look good on the wall also. There's a Supreme, uh, baby pedal. What's that? Is that what's that? What's a baby pedal? A baby pedal? Oh, is that for is that for music? I'm assuming when you're playing the guitar or something. I guess that might be one of those things. Crybaby. It's a crybaby pedal there. There's also a dirt bike, uh, motorized one that you can play with and shit. With a with a with a rider on top that's wearing all fox gear with Supreme all over it and a fox and the Supreme branded scrambler or dirt bike. I'm assuming. There's also a Pantone bike as well. No, this is a Pantone book, sorry. Formula Guide, I'm assuming. Um, you've also got a... <laughs> that's awesome. A Miner's Lunchbox, which is impressive because most likely the only people that are going to be wearing these or carrying these around will be fucking influencers who are not going anywhere, right? If you are not going to a mining job, they're going to go and sit in front of their laptop. So it'll be funny to see influencers walking around with this, like, you know, working class, downtrodden lunchbox thing, thinking they're cool. Um... Oh, this is amazing. There's a Frasis, there's a Frasisita, um plate set as well. <sighs> the Frazetta fucking artwork on the, some of the jerseys, actually something I should have probably checked and shown you. Actually, let me actually go and check that now because that stuff is fucking hard. 
this whole collection is crazy the Fraceta Faux Sherling line jacket come on man fucking crazy look at that artwork look at that fucking artwork Jesus Christ that looks fucking gorgeous that looks there's free horsemen there free fucking incredible that looks so good all cotton 13 ounce denim jacket with a printed graphic feel and faux shirling lining look at that bro quilted taffeta sleeve lining buttons front enclosure and original artwork by frank frazetta absolutely incredible obviously you see the nice lining on the denim jacket there i think there's matching pants to it as well yep there's matching pants there's also a track jacket Fuck, you know, this is so hard. It comes in green and black. That black one is fucking calling my name. And I think there's a shirt that matches it too, if I'm not mistaken. There's a Francesca shirt too, that they've included in the collection as well that I probably haven't seen here. But going back to some of the accessories, so you got the guitar pedal, you got the RC bike, you got the miners box, you got um, another thing I really like as well, which is this rolling tote bag. That's fucking incredible. I'm assuming a lot of people, especially if you go to Ikea and shit, you're going to love one of these. If you go to a sample cell, these are really handy. Um, you've got a three foot um, Grinch as well. You put it in front of a Christmas tree. you got a steamer for your buns and shit. you got a fake chopped cheese sandwich, which will be pretty cool <laughs> to have in places. You've got a salt and pepper meal grinder set as well to use. There's patches that say fuck them all over it. I'm not mad at there's la rocha water glasses as well that are going to be really 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 hyped as well sold in a pack of six cdw punch pins so many good things in here man pelican micro cases spirit levelers dog jackets which are going to be really popular i'm assuming a lot a, a bunch of people are going to go fucking hard for the fucking dog jackets they're so good you got the tree camo with the free with the 3M labeling here is also you, you can spot your dog from afar if they decide to run off somewhere it comes in black as well and it's Gore-Tex you got another BB Simon belt as well that I'm not mad at in the slightest big up BB Simon you got a studded ranger belt there that's fucking hard it also comes in black uh, you've got a BB Simon leather lighter case as well and you've also got the Air Force One mids that I'm also a big fan of come in black and white and you've also got this set, Bones Thermal set, it looks fucking incredible. What's that? What's that scarf? It's a bandana. MOP bandana. You got another fucking micro blade that probably won't come out in London. Or if it does, you're gonna have to show your ID to purchase it. There's a cash paperweight keychain. Oof, too many good stuff. Oh, look at that. There's a fucking yeah, I need this bottle opener. There's a supreme bottle opener keychain. I need a bit of that as well. Definitely gonna have to check out that and see if I can purchase this. And a few other bits and bobs as well that I fucking love. And there's a drugs to, drugs deck as well that I'm not mad at in the slightest. Um, Terra Patrick deck as well. I, I thought they would have that Supreme. For, oh, they got Mr. Car there's a Mr. Cartoon one too. That's going to do numbers too. That Mr. Cartoon and that drugs one are definitely two of the ones I'd probably purchase and take. So yeah, big up Supreme, man. I think this is all due to come out tomorrow or the day after. No, probably tomorrow. Definitely Thursday. Um, that should be the day that all of this stuff drops so definitely check this out if you're that way inclined too many good things there there's also the lookbook um, that features all the stuff that I've seen here what the models are wearing you know making it look a certain way which you obviously have to love um, that BB Simon jacket is hard this varsity jacket I didn't feature but this is a really nice design um, incredible incredible design here with all the with most of the I don't know what do you call it appliques all over the sleeves as opposed to the back and the front which is pretty cool I've never I'm, it's, I've not seen a design like this actually a varsity jacket instead of having all of this you know on the on the front of the jacket on the back where it traditionally is you've got most of it all around the sleeves as well so it creates this really nice kind of look you got this nice like balloon type of shape with the with the varsity jacket there and that colorway is fucking beautiful um, this obviously green jacket I'm a big fan of that I mentioned previously there's this jacket also that features this print I should have mentioned this before but this is amazing the print that makes it look all ripped up and shit that's fucking cool so all this stuff is just printed on the jacket to make it look that way but it's not actually on there I think it comes with matching jeans also um, you got this faux pearl jacket the purple jacket's great that denim set is fucking fantastic that down jacket obviously needs to be copped there's a box logo is also meant to be there as well snow white jacket which is fucking incredible i think this is a a rip from a ralph lauren jacket if i'm not mistaken snow white and the seven dwarfs like fucking incredible 
Look at this stuff, man. Too much good shit. Look at look how good that Frazetta jacket looks like. Fucking hell, mate. That Frazetta jacket looks fucking incredible, doesn't it? Look at that. Jesus Christos. That might be a real that might be a sleeper. A lot of people are gonna probably purchase this. That might be a slight sleeper there. Nice vest. The camera jacket that I mentioned that I fucking love. And yeah, some good shit here, man. As per usual, Supreme doing what they do best. When it comes to full collections, no one comes close. Pandemic business, that's a hard jacket. I'm not going to lie. Pandemic business, that's a fucking hard jacket. Um, some of the finishing on the edges is a bit rough. I'm not going to lie, but the jacket itself, it looks fucking crazy. Pandemic business, you know. I'm not mad at that in the slightest. And there's a nice little Bottega flip there as well that I'm not too mad at also. So big up Supreme. Great shit always. That denim jacket is actually quite hard to... That denim jacket is very, very hard. I'm not going to lie. It comes with matching jeans also. So I'm sure people are going to go crazy for that when that eventually does drop. Fireman's jacket there too. And all of that good stuff. So Big Up Supreme. Big Up Supreme. Always great shit. It's more to drop. I'm assuming more to drop soon. I am assuming. 